Princess Diana, Swerve Don. I don't give a fuck about Princess Diana, Swerve Don. I don't give a fuck about Swerve Lines. I have Swerve Line in a hospital. Hook the machines with the Swerve Line. Pistol. When you start rapping like that, hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Say rock! He gonna need unlimited health. Like I avoided an accident and still injured myself. I got swerved out of the way and then I hit something else. <laughs> Salute to Tay Rock and everything that he's got going on personally and professionally. I'll break down some of the latest moves that he's been doing and they've actually, he been kind of surprising because as a top tier superstar, like one of the biggest names ever, he has came down and he's been battling against a lot of newer and up and coming talent, up and coming names, and I'm gonna talk about it in one second. But who would I be to not address what I heard or what I seen in the media? Norbs. Hold on a minute, player. Norbs, Norbs, get, get the fuck, get in here and sit down. This is yours, but I'll give it to you on the way out. So, He's on his podcast or whatever, Norbs, I think Norbs at all, or whatever the case may be. You don't really even be doing that many views in battle rap, so I don't even know why. And the funny thing is, you hear talking about battle rap and talking about the URL, but you got a lawsuit against the URL. You just lost your partnership claim with the URL, and I guess you're going to repackage it and got a whole bunch of other cases. And you said my name. And, you, and I didn't even really watch it. I just saw like a little quick clip. Like, oh, you made opportunities. You took trips. You gave this nigga. What kind of shit is here? At the end of the day, and I said it before and I'll say it again, I worked for you for at least a year. You never paid me. I was, and we're going to get to that too because that messed up a lot of my relationships because I was such a great flexer. People thought I had money before I had it, but let, we'll get back to oh, that. Yeah. But, I, but I was getting money anyway, so I was like, you know, it's, it, it, well, I wasn't really tr tripping off of it. So now... You're in the same position mad at people who you claim didn't pay you. Karma ain't got no expiration date, my nigga. At the end of the day, I said what I said. You didn't pay me. I'm getting paid now. And when I told you, I told you specifically, yo, I got a kid on the way, man. I, all this little extra shit I can't be doing no more. I'm going to just record on my own channel. I'll make some extra money over there. You know what I'm saying? I got to do my thing. What you tell me? What you tell me? What did you tell me? Are you going to tell the truth or are you going to lie? You're going to fucking lie. That's what you're going to do because that's what you are. You said I couldn't do it. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Oh, you can't do it. No, I'm not going to let you do it. So I can't make no money with you and I can't make no money on my own. Keep my name out your blogs, fam, because this could go somewhere it don't need to go. Like, seriously, like just leave me alone and we'll just make it out to what it needs to be. I'm doing what I'm doing on my own. I got 30 million views later, almost 80,000 subscribers. My nigga, I don't need you. I don't need you, bro. I don't need you, bro. Let it go. I don't need you. I don't give a fuck about your case. I don't care if you win. I don't care if you lose. That's your personal business. You provided an opportunity, but it didn't come with nothing financially. When I told you I didn't want to be around with you, I didn't want to rock with you anymore, what did you do? Everything in your power to try to make me disappear and ask yourself, where did it get me? Where? Still here, 30 million later. And I could talk about any URL event I want, any King of the Dot event I want, any RBE event I want, and nobody's gonna say nothing. But if you talk about a URL event, number one, nobody's gonna watch it because why are you talking about them anyway? You can't recap a battle better than me. You can't talk about the new, you can't do anything better than me. So just let it go. Have a good day. Over there. Take this and get the fuck out of the way. Now, rock. Your father. <laughs> Last battle, I avoided an accident. Still got blood on the tire. They gonna charge me with vehicular homicide, but I'm a wonderful driver. I got swerve out of the way just to run over Rob. I got... Bruh. You been wild.
Harley recently. I'm not gonna lie. Swervo, you had a battle with Swervo, which was, I, I, and it was on the caffeine. I seen it was on the caffeine joint. They released it, and uh, he went crazy. I was looking at it like, yo, why are you doing all of this to Swervo? Ain't he from Maryland like you're from Maryland? But I will tell you this. Uh, Swervo was pretty impressive. Uh, he definitely showed poise and showed that he was able to rap with Rock. He had some dope flips. Uh, he was able to bring the energy to Rock. And in a light work battle, when you have these closed settings where it's just a small room, maybe 20 people, to see who's still getting a reaction. You know, Tay Rock, how am I getting a reaction? He's still getting a reaction. His Rock flips, his, his, his swerve flips is crazy. The squiggly line line was crazy. I do have Rock winning the battle. Clearly, he won the money on the caffeine vote. That's an extra $5,000. Then he turned around. He battled Swervo, had an event with Ace I mean Battle. I was actually at that event. Had an event, turned around, battled Ryder in a one, I think it was a one round, the band. He battled Ryder on band last night. Then he's turning around and battling Kid Slade next Saturday. I've lost, I've, I'm losing all comprehension. I don't know what, what Rock is, what Rock bag is Rock is in right now. Um, and from the material that I've seen, and from the battles that I've seen from him in this new stretch, he's doing really well. Like, you know, like if somebody starts battling pretty often and they start losing battles or they're not winning or they're doing just okay. No, he's battling week for week. He's been doing it for like the last couple weeks. Battle Swervo, Battle Rider, Battling Kid Slade, and the material has not took a dip. Uh, he did make a comment about it, and he did say that he was talking about the legends not giving shots to, you know what I'm saying, like the newer guys as far as like in their cities or whatever. And he says, go ask them top niggas from your city in battle rap why they ain't give you a shot like Rock doing for his state and the rookies outside of his state put pressure on them niggas. I'm still outside too, just in case that doesn't work. Um, and he was saying that like for the culture to grow, for people to like build and move on, you gotta provide opportunities for them, you know what I'm saying? Noah's provide an opportunity for me, the nigga just ain't pay me, but that's a different story. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Ain't pay me, but that's a different story. Uh, you gotta provide opportunities for niggas to get on, to grow, to make money, to become entities of their own without dragging them through the mud and making them have to do it on their own like I did. But anyway, um, so he's doing that. He is doing that in sponsoring and having events now. He just had Ace I mean, a bunch of rappers who probably wouldn't be getting the looks that they get in battling in Philly. And now he's turning around, battling Ryder. And I heard he did really good in the Ryder battle too. And now he's turning around and battling Kid Slade. Just a week later, Rock, what is going on with you? I don't know what the, what, I don't know what the aim or the target or the premise is. And when I spoke to Tay Rock just a couple days ago, um, well, like last week at his event, he told me he was ready for Slade. He said, like, I'm done. All I have to do is memorize it, but I'm ready for Kid Slade. And that bodes a lot well for him because that's a different bag. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, I've seen some naysayers saying that Kid Slade shouldn't be headline in a card or shouldn't be at the top of Civil War versus Rock, I say yes. The reason why I say yes is because you have to put these individuals in a position that's conducive to their development and will help them extrapolate the talent that they have. See, no, if you can't talk like me, get the fuck out of here. This nigga really put my name in, I'm gonna just keep it moving. So, you to extrapolate the talent that these guys have inside of them, you know what I'm saying? Like he, you have to be able to build on that. You can find artists, but if you're not building them, you're not developing them, you're not growing them, or putting them in positions as to where they can battle against elite names, then what are we doing this for? Like, why? Why? There's, no, there's really no reason. It doesn't have to happen. So, uh, having Kid Slade, who's bubbling, battle against a Tay Rock, while I do have Rock winning, I have him winning 2-1, because uh, I just don't feel like Slade is in the, I don't feel like Slade is in a position or wants to be in a position to lose, like clearly, like lose every round I hear. I, I don't, I don't see it, but what the crazy shit is what I've been seeing with Rock recently in his battles versus Swervo, and now, you know what I'm saying, 
in in a battle. Hopefully that's coming out with Rod in no time. And then the ones that he just had, like like you know what I'm saying, like he's been doing that. And then he had a two on two with Shuni and Fetty. And then you know what I'm saying, like it's just battle after battle after battle, and he's been doing this fucking thing. And you gotta show love. You know what I'm saying. I know there was the whole little bags and bodies. Oh, he recycled, nigga. It was his own raps. Like I didn't really. When I heard it, I was like, I don't care. Like, I really didn't, and I still don't. Like, it's his own raps, and it's just for a fucking TV show. Like, everything is. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? What you want me to do? You want me to go crazy on a nigga using their own raps? Come on, man. He wrote this shit. What the fuck? He wasn't battling nobody. But I understand uh, the high level of scrutiny that he'll go through. But I will say this. Uh, him versus Swervo, uh, I do have rock damn near 3-0. Swerve may have got around. But the material and the way that Rock was smoking and wilding was like, and then he said the shit about Swerve, Princess died deaf, and you see the camera pan over and Easy's asking, did she really die? Yes, nigga. Yes, she died like that. She died in this car crash with a car Swerve. It was a powerful bar. Uh, but I do have a lot of positives from Swerve. I love the performance. I love the cadence. Um, I love the fact that he's repping his crew. He's running with Maryland. He's doing his thing. And um, hopefully we can see him continue. Because once you got a name like Rock on your resume, see, a lot of these guys don't understand. These are resume building battles. You could take a battle with Rock and you could, like, go. There's so many people who haven't got a chance. Veterans who ain't got a chance to battle somebody of that stature. And he's giving out these shots to a swervo. But he's been doing it for a while. He did it versus he battled with Louise when Louise was still pretty new and so on and so forth. But uh, you got to take your advantage of your opportunity is what I will say. Um, I see, I, and like I said, I had a couple days off, which was good, you know what I'm saying, getting to uh, relax and things like that. And I've been working too. And then me and SP, we'll be back in motion this week for sure, you know what I'm saying. Had a little sickness too. It was sick last week. And I know there's a lot of people who's like, yo, What's up with the blogs? You're dropping blogs without SP? I'm like, bro, I'd rather take a week and just do content on my own than to drag him into here and potentially get him sick or something like that. I, I don't know. I know, I know y'all love the blogs, but for me, they're just not important enough for me to want to drag somebody in in that kind of uh, state. Uh, I've seen a lot of people talking about Coach Prime, Deion Sanders' decision to move from Colorado to, uh, I mean, from Jackson State to Colorado, and I will say this. There's a lot of people that are upset and mad about somebody moving on to a better opportunity. Deion Sanders was making $300,000 a year. People thought it was a million. It was actually $300,000 a year. And he was given half back to upgrade the facilities at Jackson State. I don't know. I know a lot of you guys are probably not familiar with the swag and not familiar with Jackson State or the city of Jackson, Mississippi. It is one of the worst cities per capita crime rate in America. Like, it is horrible in Jackson, Mississippi. He went there, brought his acclaim, brought his name, and turned that program into a two-time SWAC champion. One, again, this year had a perfect season, and he had hit a ceiling. What else was there he was going to be able to do? Win the SWAC every year? He has a son that's a budding NFL talent, Shador Sanders. He's a pretty good quarterback. He's not going to make it to the NFL playing against future Amazon workers or playing against southern and grambling that's just not gonna happen it, 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 it's, it's this outside shot but if you really want to do it you got to be in a power five conference playing against the oregon's playing against you know what i'm saying uh freaking utah's oregon states ucla's i know ucla's leaving the conference but you got to play against the real competition it's just the way it goes i know a lot of y'all don't understand but y'all want to just stay 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 the man making five million a year, that's 16 times more than 150,000 a year he was getting. How can you be mad? And then they gave him the keys to let him bring his whole staff, recruit players, bring players from his team. You think, I, I get it, Colorado is not a good team. They won in 11 last year and been in the basement for the last 15, 20 years. But when you bring Prime in, what he's able to bring in, the players that he's able to bring in, and you think he's not gonna be able to recruit, that was gonna be fucking crazy next week. When, when, when the people are able to transfer and go. They, you Trust me, he's going to be having four or five-star athletes flying to Colorado. And I hear y'all say, oh, what about the kids who he had recruited to Jackson State and yada, yada, yada. If you're good enough, you can go somewhere else. If, you're, if you are good enough, number one, he's either going to want you to come with him or you can jump in the transfer portal. You don't even got to sit out for a year. You can go play somewhere else. You know, you can't be mad 
as somebody for wanting a better opportunity for themselves. Kind of like with me and Norbs, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanted a better opportunity. Nigga wasn't on shit, wasn't paying nobody, but was getting paid off the work. <laughs> Can y'all imagine that? Let me just leave that with y'all. Imagine you working for someone who's making money off of your work but doesn't want to pay you and then gets mad when you choose to go make money on your own. <laughs> nigga, go to hell, man. Get the fuck out of here. I wish I would. Nigga, I don't owe you nothing. And there's nothing. I ain't, I ain't talking about this no more either. Because if I do, it ain't going to go well. Leave me alone.